So I didn't realize I had this Pharos lockstone when I was down underneath the ballista room. So we're going to head on back there and we're going to use that in the wall there. And that's going to open up a secret wall for us. Hey, Ballista took care of one guy for us. Ooh. Was a goner. It is very easy to get ganged up on. What? You weren't gonna help? Now what's behind door number one? So I don't think we could have opened this without the lockstone. And it's not one that you press A on. You have to hit it. Anyone in here? Nice. Speed up stamina recovery. I didn't know there was a Titanite slab down here. It seems a little bit early on in the game to be getting a Titanite slab. Legitimately scary. <laughs> Everything is so slow moving, but so am I. So usually when I come through here, I've got those three guys from the previous room chasing after me. And then these two guys see me, and all five of them are running after me up these stairs. And I just keep falling off, slashing a few, and going up. Best way to deal with them in this room. I already know this is a trap, so we're going to trigger it. There they are. Don't want to be caught on that sword with these guys coming after you unless you've got the right weapon for it. A spear, maybe like a war hammer. Send them flying off.
And you can see a little war hammer poking out from the top of that box over there. Yep. That's an enemy. Oh, would you look at that? That must be the head we were seeing from Majula. He's half toppled, mainly just his sword. That would explain why I didn't notice him before. He's just hanging out off to the side. Let's play the patient game with this guy. Boy, they can attack really fast. Alright, I think we just got one more hit on this guy, right? Couldn't take another hit. Alright, we're a little over halfway to getting uh, Mofflin McLaughlin, having him have my armor set. Gotta give him 16,000 souls. land right in that fire jet? Good thing he was already dead. Alright, let's go take on boss number one. He's a giant that's chained up here. Don't exactly need cell sword loot. Okay. So for no reason, we're going in alone. an angry tree. It's okay, man. Just find somewhere nice to set your roots down. This ain't it. Yeah, had I summoned Lewitt? Oh, God. he would have a much larger health pool. And I really haven't upgraded anything. Alright, let's not get greedy. His stomps are pretty fast.
really hard to keep an eye on him. <laughs> What are you going to do with that? I think it may have been a little bit easier for you if you kept it attached to your arm. Apparently it doesn't hurt. Or he just doesn't care. And he's down. Sorry, gentle giant. Alright, all healed up, and I have equipped some aromatic ooze paper that's going to apply some magic to my weapon. And since I don't have it upgraded, that's going to add a little bit of a damage boost for us in our boss fight here. Oh my god. Always get hit by them. At least I didn't let that guy run up behind me while I was dealing with him. Whoa! What a ninja! Hmm. I'll go ahead and waste a life gem here. I don't want to use my four Estus. Alright, it's high time. Let's not die. I don't want to risk losing my souls in here. that bird to get around everywhere, doesn't he? I'm back, asshole. Got no bodies to trip on this time. Only thing that saved your life last time. Think you're cool because you can float? Well, that's... That's pretty cool. <laughs> Not a great start. Only had to press the button four times in order to heal. I need a new controller.
your time. Jeez Louise. Okay, we're okay. We can use life gems for the rest of this if we have to. Let's just not waste our aromatic ooze. I'm talking about putting in the work now. close. Oh, we got him. See, that wasn't so bad. Uh, if I had had that magic paper in the first fight, it would have been a done deal. No, le no need to lament. We got the job done. And that's not the last to him, either. I think there's even a room somewhere in Drangley Castle where we have to fight two of him at once. So if you follow this path down, I believe you get the Dranglaic armor set and the Dranglaic sword. It's a it's a great sword, a smaller great sword, so it slashes a bit faster. But we're gonna skip that since I don't use any of that, and we're gonna deal with these guys later on in the story, towards the end of the game. Well, the bird knew where to take us. Or he didn't want us anywhere near his nest that we were crouching in, more than likely, and just dropped us on some random tower. So we're at the tower apart. As we work our way down, we're going to get to the Lost Sinner. A pretty difficult boss fight. But if you have something with lightning on it, that'll help a lot. Mm, you know what? We, uh, we are going to go and purchase our outfit before I lose my souls. Oh, I, I was hoping that you would come. Someone's looking happier. I've stocked some new things, and I thought that you might be interested. They've been selling rather well, and I may step up operations soon. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm surprising even myself, to be honest. <laughs> oh, 
Well, he doesn't have what I'm looking for yet, but he does have a neat armor set from Dark Souls 1, the Elite Knight armor. So I'm trying to spend 16,000 souls. This is a good way to do it. There we go. So now if I leave and come back, he should carry my armor set that I want. It's called Alva's Armor in Dark Souls 3. Might have a different name here. It's the armor of the Old Guard. Whoever they are. We'll come across Bradley of the Old Guard. He wears the same armor set. Wait. I should probably pass travel. Just to be sure. Hey, look at him. He's looking a lot more jovial. Um, sorry, have we met? Oh, sorry. It's just I've been awfully busy lately. Well, you're Can't either you hollow or a jerk. Please, be my guest. I upgraded my stock recently, although it may be a bit out of your reach. Wow. So he makes a little bit of money and he turns into a jerk. Nice lesson hidden in there, Dark Souls. Well, there we go. It is called the Alva Armor. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Do we have enough? Wow, we have just enough for our armor set. I usually don't wear the helmet. Later on, I'll grind a certain enemy for the uh, Desert Sorceress Hood. I bet you can guess which enemy. There we go. And we can still roll around. Look how good that looks. That is way better than the Dark Souls 3 version of this armor. It's all tattered and blows with the wind. It's nice. Looking like my pyromancer. Okay. So we're going to go back to the Tower of Parts. Even though we don't have a very leveled up weapon, we might be able to make it through this fight. And if I don't, then I've only lost an effigy and a little bit of souls. Not the worst. I'll get Twinkling Titanite and a Fragrant Branch of Yore out of this. Right over there. Just a difficult fight I have to deal with. And a hole in the ground to watch out for. Sometimes I miss a dog. Hey. Okay. Nice to not have any Estus drained or health missing for this. Oops. So whether or not I defeat this pursuer, I should still have the Fragrant Branch of Yore. And I could run out of this door. Do I have anything else to put on my weapon? I do not. That's okay. I think we got it this time. I think it's just the one hole in the ground I have to watch out for. If 
And this guy's a bit different. As you can tell, he's smoking out of his chest, so he's got a new move that he does. Oh no. And it sends souls out towards us. Homing souls. There they are. Just get behind them. That's all you gotta do. And you get four free hits. It actually makes them a little bit easier to deal with. As long as you can read that move. Hey, this is going pretty good, but we've had some practice at this point. Down to the wire. Gotta watch out for that homing attack. Could end him if he tries to do it. We got him. Pursuer's not so tough. You just gotta die a hundred times first. That's all. That's the secret. Alright, so we have our Fragrant Branch of Yore. And we have to use those sparingly, because they don't give you as many as you would need to, uh, to use them for their intended purpose, which is to unpetrify things that are in your way, standing in the way of rewards or the way forward. Here, we're going to talk to Lucatiel, introduce ourselves. What is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. <laughs> you are an I'm not the one in a metal mask. Normally, Very people fancy. see distance when they see this mask, but you... I'm called Lucatil. From the land of Mira to the far east, across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls. And so I came to claim my share. But what a strange place. Even the rumors did not prepare me. She looks like she's out of Spain or something. I've always made a point of avoiding people. While you've made a point of engaging me. I can see that you are mid-journey. If you require assistance, I will help you. I come from Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. Well, I'll miss you. <laughs> So the fragrant branch of yore that we picked up from the chest is used on things like this. He's a petrified enemy that stands in the way of where we need to be. I'm pretty sure there's another way to get around him, but this is the easier path to take if you have a fragrant branch of yore. Ow!
I think I was far enough away from the blast. Game developers think differently. We're not going to use the fragrant branch yet. We're going to use it on somebody standing in our way in a different direction. She's actually who sells us pyromancies in this. Super runaway. Not dying here. Not to him. Okay. There are a few dogs where I'm trying to go, so I'll go ahead and use the life gym. It's possible to hit this wrong and it careens off to the side and explodes before it gets to the cracked wall down there, so be very careful. And just shove it forward a little bit. Wow. That sucked. So since we couldn't blast open that wall, we're just going to go ahead and return to the last bonfire. We're going to go use our fragrant branch of yore. So we're going to backtrack a little ways with our fragrant branch of yore. We could actually use it to go get an Estus shard from the very beginning of the game, but we're going to use it to help a pyromancer. Rosabeth, I think her name is. Hey, Benhart. I forgot about Benhart. He's pretty cool. He's got that thick Scottish accent. Have you business with me? The way you're under is all blocked up, you see, by this god office statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof. I'm in quite the pickle now. Can't move a statue? See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Ah, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no craftsmen round these parts. Hey, you don't think a real life person mm. was turned yeah. to stone, do you? Yeah, they're all over the place. Where have you been? See that statue? Gives me the willies. Right, so this is who he's talking about. Hello. Smoker. got that pack a day Dude. voice uh, give me oh. or just some cement in her lungs
I'm fine. Really, I am. Um... My name is Rosabeth. Nice to meet you. I'm Thank Lord. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. Oh. You're that traveler. I still haven't thanked you. Oh, yeah? I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. Ah. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. I owe you my life. If you have not come. Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. Um, I hate to burden you further, but just look at me. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I'll take anything, whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Well, anything you're in luck. Do. Not only do I have clothes Put for you, but you are going to be super safe in some later. elite knight armor. There we go. Yep. Uh, no, nothing to buy yet. Well, she's got three fire seeds, but that can wait. I have to get my pyromancy hand first. I will buy fireball for when I do get it, because that's coming up. very own teacher. His name is Korean of the Fold, a famed sorcerer in Melfia, our hometown. I was fascinated by sorcery, and so, well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated. You Quite just invited long. yourself and he ditched you? <laughs> oh no. this gift. After I change into this, I'm heading for Majula. Hmm. I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Majula is my best chance. Okay. Sounds good. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I just had to wait for that door to open. I thought I could still run outside and they would come attack me, but maybe I had to come through here first in order for them to come out of their uh, cells willingly. Well, great. Now I have to walk all the way back there. And you know I'm using an effigy. Can't stand looking at that green zombie face. I wouldn't say I cleared it. No, no, no. That's not like it sounds, no. It was a pleasant surprise, that's all. Name's Ben Hart. Thanks to you, I can resume my journey. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. You're extremely Go bright, sword. Long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> it looks like the moonlight great sword, but it isn't. It's a knockoff. 
We're going to the Tower of Flame. Oh good, I needed that broken thief sword. Who would ever pick that up and use it, except to just have an insane challenge? So these guys are pretty difficult, uh, if you don't know how to read them properly. So why don't we just go ahead and go to the bonfire first, before we just throw our life away. Something I always seem to forget in this game is that you can't grind in one spot for levels or items uh, indefinitely. After a little while, the enemies that you're grinding will just not appear anymore, and you have to use something called a bonfire ascetic at a bonfire to essentially reset the area into a new game plus mode where they are harder to deal with. And it stays that way permanently. Even if you go to a proper new game plus, it's always going to be that one step ahead after using a bonfire aesthetic. It's a good idea uh, if you're grinding for items and you don't want to have to go through a whole nother playthrough. But it kind of takes the charm out of it as well. No. No. You clunky ass game. This is why I need my hood, so I can cover up this face. What? What do you want? You here to ruin my day too? Get the hell away from me. What a jerk. Oh, you know what? I had this ring this whole time. We picked it up after we defeated the Pursuer the second time. Which is technically the third time we encountered the Pursuer. That guy just won't die. So we're gonna stick around here for a little bit and grind. Well now, I suppose I can stop grinding here, because I've almost amassed 20,000 souls, and I haven't lost any health yet in these last few fights. Yeah, make sure we don't fall off again. Still salty about that.
So there's our boss arena right down there. Complete with boss. Just waiting for us. Jeez, take your time, guys. Now we can have ourselves a fair fight. One on one. So if we pull this lever here, the boss arena gets bigger. Because right now it's a small boss arena and it's easy to fall off. There are ways to get the boss to fall off all by himself without you even having to swing. I've seen it. But we're going to go ahead and complete the boss arena. Because I can fight him one on one just fine. Let's not waste an Estus just yet. I'd rather take on this dragon to the front left here with a bow. That is the easier way. I could just get a ton of arrows and throw some arrows at him. Or I could, uh, I could try and beat him fair and square. Not ideal if he flies up in the air and tries to use his fire attack on the ground. That could push me right off the edge. I have beaten him one on one, but I don't exactly have a leveled up weapon. It's probably not a good idea. That was another lever for the boss arena. Made it a little bit bigger again. Should be the last one. You know what, I think we're ready. I don't think we'll need more than two Estus to heal. Let's give it a shot. Might as well go home with more souls. Come back for that dragon later. Stay behind him if you can. And only attack after he thrusts. Oh! He's a pretty slow moving boss. I mean, a lot of the enemies in this, in this game are pretty slow moving, easy to read, but it's the clunkiness of your own controls that'll get you. It takes a long time to chug your Estus, it takes a long time to set up a wind up swing. Nothing is fast for you in this. I think we just made short work of him. Did he even touch us? I don't think he did. Just in time, too. That broadsword was about to break. Hey. Thank you very much. Oh. 
That woke him up. How interesting. Well, there was a chest over there. We might as well snag it, right? Come on. I really hate dealing with these guys. And fast move forward. Uh. Yes. Barely got behind him in time. Let's see if we can do that again. Nice. He set it right up for us. Let's not get caught behind him, though. You want to do that move again? <laughs> There's no running. Not for you. Alright, let's go see what he was hiding. I don't remember. Yeah, there's still a summon sign over there. Maybe I should summon him and then go take on that dragon. Now there's an idea. Oh, I don't want to lose my souls, though. I wasn't even paying attention to what I just picked up, either. Who even helps me here? Masterless Glencore. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go try and take on that dragon. Oh, this is perfect. These guys definitely have a much larger health pool because of him, but at least the aggro is off of me. That's all that matters. Oh, my sword! Okay, can I repair it? Or do I need to pay somebody? Oh, it's still broken! Oh no. That's not good. And it's looking like... Oh, I can't even use a short sword. Broken straight sword. Not even a bandit's knife. Okay. This is very unlike me, but we're switching it up just because we have Masterless Glencore. I'm going to use this axe. It's the only thing I can use. Sheesh. Hey, he's got a spear. Can I have your spear? Ooh. The axe actually did a little bit more damage. Drop it. Drop it. Aww. And Glencore got hurt. Oh, he's up already, isn't he? Is he going to try and blast me? Yeah, he was. You see that? How are we supposed to get over there then? Okay. So I'm going to get him to fly up into the air by hitting him with an arrow. I should be able to at least launch arrows, right? Just not effective with them. And now we run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That almost worked. Let's stay a little bit closer here and then see if it works. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous about this. Oh my god. Take your time. 
Here we go. Okay, Glenn. Alright, let's just be wary of when he flies up into the air. actually going pretty decently. Okay, fly away. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Ooh, don't move yet. Woo! Glenn got us through it. I don't know, maybe I could have done that alone. But uh man, I'm on the edge of my seat. That was that was something. Glad I didn't have to go through as many life gems. So we just opened up the way for me to get the uh Dragon Slayer Soul, which will get me my Dragon Slayer Spear. We just have to get through a boss. The original owner of the spear. The axe actually handled quite nicely. I haven't used one before. And the bow did its job. Anybody up here? I don't want to fight. I just want to see. Hey, five effigies. That makes me feel a little bit better about losing some in this place. Well, we're not quite ready for that boss yet. And we got a lot of souls we can use. 